Good evening everyone, welcome back to the Midnight Miners channel. In tonight's episode, what I'm trying to do is... I have a GPU, it's a 1080 that is uh, running a little hot. The temperatures in my uh, basement over here kind of dropped down a little bit. Everything else is running cool, but this one is running over 60 degrees constantly. So, as you, can, as you guys can see, sorry about that. As you guys can see right now, it is uh, this one right here. It is running at 66 degrees. Uh, I have the fan set to 100% on it. It is mining Ethereum. So what I'm going to try to try to lower the temperatures on this uh, by taking it apart, cleaning it, see if the thermal pads are okay on it, and putting it back together and see if that's going to help in any way. Let's try to go and uh, stop the miner first right now and then we're gonna wait a little while and we're gonna turn it off after that let me um switch to the other camera and i will show you what i'm talking about when it comes to this um, um graphic card where it's sitting how it's um set up so give me one second and i'll be right back all right guys so this is the setup that I have right now. I actually have a couple of fans just sitting on top of the um, hangers over here just to kind of pull air away from it. It is not something permanent, but it is something that would help. And I even tried with this one. This is the card and, uh, that I'm trying to clean right now. Um, as you can see, this is the other 1080. Um, this is the Gigabyte. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one off and we're gonna get back on the, um, uh, on my desk over here and we're gonna take it apart and try to clean it all up. Take this one like that. I might need two hands for uh, for this one just because I don't wanna damage anything. So let me take it off, um, take the hanger off and uh, I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. Um, as you guys can see, it is quite dusty, and um, it, it just looks a little dirty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one apart, and we're going to clean it up. Um, this might also serve as a guide on to how to take these apart, this type of graphics card. It is a little bit different comparing to your... Um, regular gpus with two fans and everything so let's get this one started and i will show you um what i have to do and how i'm taking this one apart and how i'm cleaning it so first things first what i want to do is i'm going to undo these four uh, screws that we have here so now that we have these four screws off what we need to do is we need to take this um, cover off. So, we have a lot of screws on this one. Just gotta find the right screwdriver for them. That's one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them onto the side. So what we're going to do is we got two screws at the top over here. I'm taking everything out guys. If I'm not doing it wrong, feel free to yell at me. But look at that. 
came right off. So, once we take this one apart, I'm going to disconnect um, the fan. I'm going to take this out. And this is what we got to work with. This is what might be getting too hot. Um, I might have issues with thermal pads, although they don't seem like they're still fresh. They they don't look. They're not brittle. Usually, I would see them a little brittle. So, but there there's definitely dust in here, as you can see. Um, just taking it off. Look at it. You can pick this up from here. So we're going to take this one apart completely. And we're going to clean this fan and everything else in it. For the board, this is going to be fairly easy because it doesn't look that dirty. I only have to take this off, um, off the chip. So that's going to be quite quick. But what we're going to do is we're going to use our uh, Q-tips and we're going to scrub this with the rubbing alcohol. Pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it too apparently so that it'll dry. I just want to get all this stuff off. Um, I like to try to keep my cards as clean as I can. Uh, I'd like to clean them as often as, as often as I can. I can't even talk today. And last time when I built this hanging GPU rig, when I took it off the frame and I built that, I was actually planning on taking all my GPUs apart and actually cleaning them. But I gave up on that idea once I realized that I was about five to six hours into building something. I didn't quite like it. So, this one we're going to put to the side. And we're going to. So, let me take this part and I'll be right back. So, quick thing we do have three screws on either side um, three over here, three over here. And it looks like that will be everything for for these screws. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure you guys know there's uh, three on either side. Um, and there we go. And once you take those screws apart, this comes right out. And this is how it looks. Now, if we can take this off and you can see the amount of dust that's in here. You can also see the amount of dust that's in here. Look at that. And all this. So yeah, I think this is part of the reason why this card has been running so hot. Uh, the fan is going to have to get cleaned up. Let's see, do we have anything in here? This looks fairly clean, but the fan is quite dusty as you guys can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clean this fan too. So I'll be right back guys, let me... So since we cleaned this up and I took the fan apart, actually I took it out and gave it a good old bath. In rubbing alcohol, what we're going to do is we're going to put this heat sink in it. The trick is, with these ones, you'll have to set it here, try to put this one back together like this, because every time you try to flip it, it's so it stays in. So once we put this back together, we'll put these six screws in. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is, we're going to 
plug this fan back in. And from here, we're going to apply our thermal paste, which I'm using, let me see if I can show you guys, the Arctic Silver 5 for my GPUs. Put that on. I don't want to put too much, but uh, I just want to have enough on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. Let me move this so you guys can see it. I'm going to flip it over, try to line it up as best as possible with the holes. There we go. Like so. It's pretty lined up. Next things is these four screws that would actually tighten it up. And what this is going to do as we tighten this is going to spread that thermal paste Now, we're going to put all these tiny little screws that we have here, we're going to put them all back in. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start this one up. We're going to turn on the server power supplies first. Hopefully everything is going to work just fine. And then we're gonna power this whole thing on. So let's just jump back on and see how well this is gonna do since it all came back up. Uh, this one's running. All right guys, so we turned the ring back on. It has been running for a little while now, a couple of minutes and the temperature is at 59 it will fluctuate it actually started at 57 then it went 59 then it dropped back down to 58 so it will just run let's see let's do another refresh on this whole page and see if um if i can get another reading so it's still at 59 but anywhere 57 to 59 degrees this is where it's running it used to run at 66 which was a little high in my opinion but with 59 degrees i'm actually quite happy so half an hour of cleaning gets my temperatures a little bit down on this card and it will run again for a while until it will have to get clean so this is my experience with them um this is what i've done to lower my temperature on it if you guys are deciding to try this uh on your own cards do it at your own risk um but for right now guys that will be everything if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys.